Hello everybody, my name is Andrea Majewski with Dental L Mobile Hygiene. Um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about myself. Since you have clicked this video, it means you're curious. Um, I have been in the dental profession for almost 15 years now. So I became a dental assistant first, then a dental hygienist after that, and then I became a restorative dental hygienist after that. So that means I'm a dental hygienist with a specialty certificate. There's not a lot of us in Ontario. Um, you probably haven't heard about a restorative hygienist before, but it just means we have additional skills. So we have more skills than a dental hygienist would, which means I can place um, crowns, bridges, um, I can place temporary fillings, I can, I can do quite a lot, but that's just kind of what it means in a nutshell. So it's really nice for a mobile dental hygienist like myself, because especially when I see kids, so here's a perfect example. When I see kids, I might suspect there's a few cavities in there, but your son or daughter might be two, they might be three years old, and you're thinking, how am I going to get them to a dental office to get those cavity fixed? they are going to be terrified. So what I can actually do is I can apply something that's called silver diamine fluoride. It's a little liquid that I put in the tooth that can actually help to kill that bacteria that's causing the cavity. Um, and it helps to stop that cavity from getting bigger. And on top of that, I can place what's called a white um, temporary filling on top. So it kind of covers up that hole that that cavity may have left. It is considered a temporary filling because it's not meant to last 10, 20 years. But a two-year-old, they shouldn't really be having that filling in there anyway because they will be losing those teeth, right? So it's kind of nice that I am able to provide that service. So I have been, I have had my own mobile practice since 2018. So it's been a couple years now, depending on when you're watching this video. And I go a little bit everywhere. So I now live in St. Thomas, Ontario. I do have my own office in St. Thomas. So if you don't necessarily want me to come to your house, you can come to me. It's a nice home office um, environment. So it's not like a dental office typical environment. It's nice and cozy. It's a nice home office. So if you're a little bit anxious, this would definitely help you. Or of course, I can come to you. So I bring everything to you. It takes about three trips to and from my car, but I have the air, the water, the suction. I have a portable um, patient chair. I have a stool that I sit on. I bring all of my um, dental instruments, anything that I need to clean your teeth. So when you go to a dental office and the hygienist is cleaning your teeth, that's me. So I just pretty much bring everything, but it's portable. So it's really, really nice. And a common question that people typically ask me is where do you go? Like, where do you go? Like, which cities do you go to? So I go anywhere about an hour and a half away from St. Thomas. So if you guys do like a Google map search to see where you are, if it's about an hour and a half away or less, yes, I will come to you. Because I go to a different city every single day. So sometimes I might be in London. Um, I might be in um, Woodstock. I might be in Mount Elgin, St. Mary. So I pretty much go everywhere. I really, really do. So do not hesitate to let me know if you would like me to come see you. Another question that people ask me is, can I see everybody at the same time? Yes, I can. So say you are a mom who, who wants to book something for her husband, her son, her daughter, your sister, whoever. Yes, I can see people at the same time. And I do like that because if I'm going to come to your house, the more people I see, it's just kind of nicer for me, right? So that is never a problem. Um, a lot of people ask me, do I see kids? Yes, I do see kids. I see all ages. The youngest I've seen is probably 18 months. The oldest is probably like 92. So yes, I do see everybody and I am so happy to see everybody. Um, depending on when you're watching this video, it is July 29th. With COVID, yes, there are certain things that I do have in place that are a little bit different than what we had before. We still disinfect everything the same. Um, we sterilize everything the same. I do have a sterilizer in my house. So I do all of that. Um, 
because we were always told to treat everybody as if they're highly infectious. So none of that has changed, right? Um, but certain things that have changed are that when I come to see you, I will have a mask on at all times. That's for your protection, that's for my protection. If I'm coming to see you at your house, I will ask that I can change into my full PPE. So I come at you looking normal with a mask on, but then after I set everything up, it takes about 20 minutes for me to set up my, you know, air, the water, the suction, the chair, the instruments, all of that. After I'm done doing that, I will take your temperature and I do have the oxygen um, saturation that I take too. It's just kind of a little thing that I clip on your finger. It takes like two seconds, super, super easy. And that just ensures that you are healthy. Plus I take my temperature every morning too, um, just to make sure, right, that I'm healthy too. Um, but then I will change into my full PPE. So I will have on um, another mask. I will, I will have on the hair cap, the face shield, safety glasses. I will have on uh, the gown. So I will look like I'm kind of in a costume, okay? Thankfully, kids don't seem to mind. I always kind of thought, okay, kids are going to be terrified, but they're really not. They think the costume looks kind of cool. So I haven't had any complaints yet. Um, I do see a lot of kids, pretty much anybody, it doesn't matter how old you are, and if you're nervous, that's okay. I see a lot of people that are very, very anxious. They haven't been to the dentist in 10 plus years because they're just worried. Please don't you worry. You have to start somewhere. You will be pleasantly surprised how much more comfortable you feel having your teeth cleaned in your own home. So let me see you, give me a try, and you will be pleasantly surprised. Let's see, what other questions do people have? Um, I will send everything off to your insurance so you do not have to pay me that day. People love that. So I send off um, anything that I do, I fill in a claim form, and then I send that off for you. So insurance pays me. And then I would just ask you for the difference, not covered by insurance. Um, usually it takes about two weeks for me to hear back from them. So you don't have to pay anything right away, which is nice. People do seem to like that. Um, I try to make it as easy as possible for everybody. If you don't have insurance, that's okay. Let me know and then we can talk about how much things are because the cost does depend on how, how long it's been since you've been to a dental hygienist. If it's been 10 years, your cost might be a little bit more than somebody who has their teeth cleaned every six months. Because as you can imagine, there will be a lot more for me to do to clean the teeth with somebody who hasn't seen a dental hygienist in 10 years versus six months, but we can talk about all of that. That is no problem. Um, appointments typically take, depending on how long it's been, for one adult, it takes about two hours. So the cleaning in itself is about one hour at the most, but then it does usually take me 20 minutes to set everything up and then 20 minutes to take everything down at the end. So I do book a two hour appointment, for one adult, like just as an example. If there's two adults, then I will book three hours. Um, children don't take that long, maybe half an hour, maybe an hour for two children, you know, it kind of depends. But if you're curious on time, just let me know and then I can let you know how long it will approximately take. Um, another question is, how do I work with, um, if you have a dentist currently? So that's easy. So I will let them know everything that I pretty much do, and they will let me know everything that, that they do. So let's say I see you for a teeth cleaning every six months, and then I might suspect you have a cavity, or I might say, hmm, you might need a root canal or something like that. Then I would send you a back to um, the dentist who they would have a look at you, probably take an x-ray and then they would let me know how everything looks. So I guess the short answer is, is we work um, together. So you don't have to think, oh, do I just have to see Andrea or can I see my dentist and see Andrea? How does that work? So I am a dental hygienist. I'm not a dentist, but we do still work together because even in a dental office, the dental hygienist would be the one cleaning the teeth not the dentist. So they work together anyway. So it's nothing different. It's just I'm not in that office. But if you have questions about that, let me know. Um, I was a dental assistant, as I had mentioned, so I can pretty much answer any questions you have. 
If you have questions about cavities, crowns, bridges, implants, I have full experience with all of that and I'm more than happy to help you. So I think I answered the typical questions. Um, please let me know though if I had left anything out. I'm seeing a lot of new patients lately. I did do a video maybe last year just kind of talking about myself a little bit but it's just kind of always nice to update that. So please let me know if you guys have any questions. I am so happy to see anybody and I look forward to seeing everybody very very soon. Thank you so much for watching.